Hello there, students. So this is a how-to video for to get started on making your book creator. You're going to see it's pretty darn easy. So I'm going to show you one I already have made so you can see some of the features that you can kind of do with it. Then I'll show you ultimately how to do it. So you can maybe just kind of brainstorm what you want to do. So it's a book and you can insert and change all different types of text. You can see you can do all sorts of backgrounds to it, um, pictures, uh, videos, which is great. You can do it for on your own videos or YouTube videos. Um, and then you can draw things if you want to uh, do that. And then you can even embed stuff, which is pretty cool, from Google Drive or files in case as people view your um, your book, if you want them to basically go somewhere else to a website or something like that, it kind of has this interactive feature to it, which is really cool. And then you know combine it all together and make it look super nice. So let me show you how to get started with Book Creator. So you'd uh, do a new book, choose your size that you'd want, and it just gives you kind of an empty page. And so what you would do is go up over here to the little plus sign and you add in whatever you want to add in. So most likely for your cover, you put in a picture. So this is going to be where I show you how to put in a picture. So you would do import and let's just say you want to search for an image. I don't know, maybe my book is about dogs. And then I would search that and there we go. So that would be maybe my cover. All right. And if I want to go now, I'll show you how to insert text and modify that. So if you want to insert text, you click text and dogs are wonderful. And that's all you have, right? And so if you want to resize it, change it, that kind of thing, with there's this little I button over here. So with the text box clicked, you click I. And then here you see you can change the size, you can change the color, change the font, background, uh, a handful of different options here. So this will let you really customize your text um, and move it around. So the next thing I want to show you now is what you can do with the background. So you see here it says text, but there's also a button here that says page. So for page, it'll let you click on the colored background you want. And there's actually different options. I think my face is covering a little bit. Let's see if I can't move that for you. So there's different options besides just simply color, So which I think is pretty cool. So there's all these kind of different patterns here. So you can put a border on it, which looks really nice, or you can do a comic strip. Uh, kind of fun background, the lightning bolts, you can really play around with it, So, but you can really customize your background any way that you'd like to. So we got text, we got background, um, and now let me show you a couple other things. So if you want to insert a video, all right, you'd import and then you have to choose it as a file, a video downloaded on your computer. Or if you want to put in a YouTube video, there is a way to do it with a workaround. What you'd have to do is go to youtube.com and get the embedded code um, and then you can put the embedded code right there and it'll embed a YouTube video for you. Um, and so if you don't know how to do that, you can look it up, I guess, or any YouTube video has an option down underneath it that says share and gives you the option to get the embedded code. So you copy and paste that in here and then you ultimately can get a video as well. So that's how to do video. Um, and then there's other features, like I said, you can draw stuff with pen. If you wanna record stuff, this is kind of cool, I think. So if you wanted to record, um, so let's see how this works. Dogs are wonderful, the best animals ever. And what it will do is it'll put this here. So now when someone goes to read your book and they're on this page, if they want, they can click on it. Dogs are wonderful, the best animals ever. There you go. So you can use that for whatever you want to read pages or just have an extra little thing going on there. Um, and then you can insert uh, documents from your Google Drive, which is really cool. So if you do that, you would just go to uh, import and then pick drive. And you can put in PowerPoints and PDFs and all sorts of cool things. Um, and going back to this embedded feature too, if you would like to put in websites, a lot of websites will let you embed stuff in there too. All right, so it's pretty intuitive. You see how to insert pictures um, and text and edit that, and you really should be good to go. And then you just kind of keep on going here. And then when you get to the end, you want to add another page, you add another page. And when you're finally done with it, let's just say I'm done with this wonderful book. All right. Then what I would do is I would share it out. So I have to publish it online. And you can call it whatever you want. And this is a test book. And it'll give you a link after you hit publish book. Uh, and you see right here, copy link. So then you would share this with your teacher, however you want to do it. So that's it. It's Book Creator. You'll see it. it's pretty darn easy to use and it makes a really cool product. So enjoy using Book Creator.